this ASMR video is specifically for the men only. So if you're anyone other than a guy, a dude, an ASMR bro, then be sure to click off this video now. This one's not for you, but don't worry, there are plenty other videos on my channel you can check out tonight instead. Okay, now that all the girls are gone, don't you hate it when you're shaving and you get to that point just right there when suddenly... Okay, now that all the girls are really gone, do you know when you're playing like Xbox or PlayStation and you get to that level where you just can't get past that little bit where... So now it's really just us guys. Okay, well, I was wondering what keyboard switches are best for when you're gaming on your PC and just trying to get that optimal experience. Okay, now it has to be just us guys. Be sure to sit back, relax, and enjoy this ASMR for men video. First up, guys, I can't go this video without one of our favorite drinks, especially when you're, you know, out with the boys, just trying to have a good time. A good old beer, a good glass, a cold glass of refreshing beer. And I have my favorite one to refresh us in this video, some Corona. So let's pop off the gap, let's see if we can Such a good sound. Let's have our first sip of the video. Ah, very refreshing. Cheers, guys. So, I thought for this specific video I would do of triggers that are related to some of our favorite things, you know, things that we bond over, things that we have in common from sports to games to cologne and fragrances and much, much more. So let's get started and there'll be something for hopefully all you guys out there. Um, and if you're still watching and you're not a guy, then trust me, there'll be another one for you. I, you best believe, you best believe. First up, Got my basketball, 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 because, well, we love sports, right? And my favorite sport is basketball. What's your favorite sport? Sure, yeah, that's, that's also a great sport. I do love a bit of football as well, um, but sadly I don't have a football, soccer ball, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of a tapping on this basketball basketball's my favorite sport for those who don't know and I'm a huge Chicago Bulls fan. I was gonna wear my Bulls jersey for this video but it's in the wash right now so I thought I'd do a little bit of tapping on this basketball. When I first bought this it was a bit more but it's a bit worn out now because, well, I play with it outside a lot, so. <laughs> the NBA's just, just finished. Those are pretty good, um, pretty good playoffs. I'm glad the Nuggets won. They, I think they definitely deserved it. Jokic uh, played incredibly. It's going to be interesting to see how the offseason pans out. I mean, we've had some crazy trades already. I think Bradley Beal was the first one of many that we're probably going to see. So it should be interesting. Maybe whatever sport is your favorite. It's at an interesting time for you as well. I know it's just been the draft for, uh, I think, is it, it's, I think it's the NFL. No, not the NFL. I know there's been some sort of draft recently for another American sport. So, 
sure it's probably a pretty big time for some other sports out there. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the basketball. Basketball. Tapping. 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 Also, lately I've been uh, starting to work out at home a bit more because, well, the gym can get quite expensive and uh, having just moved, um, moved places where I live, um, I'm struggling to find a good gym near me, so I have got myself a set of home weights and I have these uh, dumbbells here that I thought I would try and make some sounds with, I'm not entirely too sure. But also just talk about, you know, one of my exor favorite exercises or muscles, areas to work out. So. Some interesting sounds here. Sort of metal tapping. This ear isn't too heavy, it's just, uh, what is it? It's about seven kilograms, which I think is like, um, oh, that's a cool sound. I think it's like, what, like 15 pounds or something like that. That actually means I need to tighten the ends. try and make some sounds with it. The only reason I have it this way is because I've been doing some, well I mean also because it's easier to hold in the video, but I've been doing some arm exercises, specifically biceps. your favorite exercise at the gym. I do like to do squats as well. Um, my bench, I'm not very good at bench press. I've got a bit of a small chest, if I'm not going to lie to you all. So my legs are probably my strongest part of my body, uh, then my arms, and then my chest. I'm not, my deadlift is okay. My squat is probably my best. It's a bit squeaky. So yeah, let's do some. Get those views in with some nice workout moves. <laughs> sip. I mean, not really a good post-workout drink, but you know, we're lads. What can we do? <laughs> ah, beautiful. If only I had, you know, like a nice lime wedge to put inside. I have a really cool Corona glass to put it in, but I thought, heck, I'll just leave it in the bottle better as well so right what else do I have well after the gym you know sometimes you might smell a little bit which we don't like do we it's good to take a good old shower and put on some deodorant 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 no it's a shame I don't have the good old Lynx Africa this is my favorite smell right now. This is Lynx Black Frozen Pear and Cedar Wood Scent. I believe if you're in America and other parts. 
parts of the world you might call this axe 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 the deodorant cans sound weirdly cool when you dab on them your favorite links or axe send there you go right now this is actually nearly finished i'm gonna have to get something else i like the blue one i think it's called like ice breeze or ice cool something like that It's such a good smell. This is my only one I'll be having, as I'm technically working. as well. 
with the new update out. Might play it on the channel soon. Or FIFA. I think FIFA comes out in, you know, a couple months. I don't know what it's going to be called now, like EA Sports or something. I don't know. something that I know a lot of you are going to love. Personally, I'm not really like a super huge car kind of guy, like a really big car fan, but I know a lot of you watching definitely will be. It's something that we guys are very proud of. And, uh, well, I got these really cool mini toy cars, and I thought I would show them to you. There's actually a few more that I have, but I thought these two were the coolest, the coolest, the coolest, the coolest, the coolest. I mean, I always loved, you know, um, like, I always admire a good car when I see it, and uh, I loved playing, like, Forza when I was growing up as well, so I guess I, I kind of find it interesting, although, fun fact, I actually can't drive believe it or not. But uh, this car here, if I can get the plating, is an Aston Martin Vantage GT8. And it's like a little die cast model of it in yellow with sort of red bits on it as well. It's really cool. I think actually the door is open. <laughs> Let's see if I can open the door. I think they do anyways. Yeah. How cool is that? The door opens on it as well. It's got a little spoiler on the back. So I thought that was pretty cool. I've got like a, M a McLaren and a Bentley one through in the other room as well. But I got this Aston Martin here. And then I also have here, which is a Land Rover Defender uh, 110 in like a sort of silvery gray color. I think it's pretty cool. I always love Land Rovers when I see them. I don't think any of the doors open on this, but the bonnet of the car does, which is pretty sick. I think, honestly, this makes me want to collect mini toy cars because what well, we used to when I was younger and I know we have a huge collection somewhere I just don't know where my favorite car what's your favorite car nice nice mine is a Audi R8 specifically in white with like little black side panels, the things I would do to be able to drive one of them one day, even if it's just in like the passenger seat, the passenger seat to be in one of them would be so cool. So, going back to the fragrances, 
I have a couple of my favorite colognes, uh, aftershaves, whatever you want to call them here. First up, one of my go-tos, and I know, I know, very stereotypic, and a classic, is Dior Sauvage. It's one of my favorite ones. Um, and it's, it smells absolutely amazing. It's really good. It's kind of like a, a go-to one. You know, you can kind of wear it for any occasion, whether it's, you know, going on a date or just going out, going out at night or even just for any kind of occasion, you know. It's not super fancy, but it's a very recognizable smell. <laughs> so if you are wearing it, expect people to say, oh, you're wearing Sauvage, things like that. It's not super expensive. Uh, this is, I believe, a 100ml uh, bottle. And um, it's pretty cool because the cap is magnetic. And inside, I don't know if it'll pick it up on camera. Yeah, you can see a little wasp. Wasp, wasp. And of course, you've got the Christian Dior logo on the top. There we go. And it kind of like magnetizes, is that a word, yep, yeah. on top. Take it in, guys, take it in. Ooh. It's a pretty pungent smell. It smells good, though. Would highly recommend if you've never tried it. And then we have my favorite one in my collection, well, one of them, mainly because of the design. <laughs> and this is Diesel. Specifically, it is called Only the Brave Diesel. And it's so cool because it's like a fist. Kind of looks like it's the, like the fist holding the liquid, if that makes sense. And it's clear, clear glass, clear glass, clear. Fist. <laughs> Let's take a little smell of this one. Well, that was right in my face, so definitely going to be smelling that the rest of the night. <laughs> that one's definitely more sweet. <laughs> yeah, very more sweet than the... Uh, Sauvage. The Sauvage is more sort of wood, wood kind of smell. I think I'm actually going to sneeze in a second, but... Oh yeah, this one's very good. I feel like this is a more summery kind of one, so it's perfect for like the time of year now. Again, this one's actually not too expensive, so would recommend. And it gets an awesome number of compliments when people see it, like, out on display. <laughs> something new or to get someone a present if they've got a summer birthday that's the one to go for right lads gonna take this quick moment here to open up a pack of pokemon cards i know i know it's, it's gonna be real fun we're all gonna enjoy it so everyone right now pro fist for good luck fingers crossed whatever Let's open this up. We have the coolest Pokemon as well. Pikachu on the front. Go guys. There's the 
there's the code card. Alright, so to the good old classic one, two, three, four cards to the front. Alrighty, and let's see what we're working with here. So we have a grass energy. We have a Nessa supporter card. Nuzleaf. <laughs> Look at the little guy. <laughs> then we have Wash Energy. I've not got this one actually, so that's a pretty good card. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Osha Watt. Osha Watt. What's your favorite Pokemon, by the way? Mine's Gyarados. Blinko. Clefairy. Talinamo. Milsery. Oh, that's a good one. Our reverse holo is a Chime Joe. And then moving on to our rare. Come on, here we go. Oh. It's nothing amazing. But it's still, yeah, I've not got this still, so that's still, um, still a good card to get, in my opinion. Terrakian. Oh, he looks huge. He looks pretty sick, look at that. 140 HP fighting type. Terrakian with guard press and earthen power, which can do more than 80 damage if you have a stadium in play. So that's pretty cool. Alright lads, to uh, end off this video I'm going to be doing something that we all have to do quite a lot. No, that's not drink beer. That is, of course, shave. Well, not quite. I'm not going to literally be shaving. We're going to make some sounds with some good old shaving cream, some shaving gel, foam, whatever you want to call it. Uh, particularly, I have Gillette shaving gel because, well, that's what works best for me when I shave. I actually don't really use shaving foam. I think for me, it's uh, it doesn't give me a, as clean as a shave as I would like. I don't know. I, I just prefer the shaving gel, but I'm sure it'll still make awesome sounds. So let's protect this mic up a little bit and uh, make some pretty cool sounds with it all.
watching tonight's video. <laughs> but in all serious though, you know, even if you watch this and you don't define yourself as a man or whatever, then uh, that is completely fine. You know, ASMR is for absolutely everyone and anyone and everyone can watch this video. Uh, me personally, I don't find this ASMR for men trend a whole, um, you know, thing that people should take too personally. It's just a little bit of a joke at the end of the day and you can enjoy whatever video you like. So if you made it to the end of this video and you're not a man, then that's all good. So I just wanna thank you all so much for watching. Cheers to all of you. I'm probably gonna go finish this off while I edit this video.